Over the years, we've constantly been hearing news and watching videos about new battery technologies for electric vehicles. With the exception of solid-state batteries, almost all of these alternatives are claimed to be significantly cheaper than the lithium-ion batteries currently used across the industry. One of them is even said to be 90% cheaper than LFP batteries. And, clearly, the term game-changer has been way overused, hasn't it? Most of these exaggerated claims are about sodium ion batteries since they're considered the lowest cost battery technology in the world right now. But are they really 90% cheaper than lithium batteries as the headlines suggest? No, absolutely not. Basically, they're lying to you. Elon Musk's top partner and Tesla's main battery supplier, Cattle, has confirmed that sodium ion batteries can reach costs about 65% lower. But that 90% figure is simply false. As the world's leading battery manufacturer, Cattle bases most of its claims on actual results rather than speculation. Still, what we should really be paying attention to isn't just the price. It's the other factors that make sodium ion batteries worth considering. Most notably, their lifespan could be up to three times longer than lithium batteries. This type of battery really can be a game changer, just not 90% cheaper like the media hype suggests. So, how will Elon Musk take advantage of it? Could sodium ion batteries be the solution once lithium ion becomes outdated? This is something you definitely don't want to miss. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Why are EVs still more expensive than ICE cars, even though their driving range tends to degrade more quickly over time? The biggest reason likely comes down to battery production costs. Batteries account for 30 to 40% of a car's total value. Although prices have dropped significantly over the past decade, they still hover around 90 to 130 per kilowatt hour today. For an EV that requires a 60 to 80 kilowatt hour pack, the battery alone costs about 5, 0 to 10, 0. And despite the high price, that doesn't necessarily mean these packs come with long lifespans. Hence why modern EVs often suffer from noticeable range degradation after a few years of use. That's why, given the challenges faced by the entire industry, creating a battery that's both cheaper and longer lasting carries huge significance. And this is exactly why we believe Cattle's sodium ion battery can truly be considered a real game changer. Unlike lithium batteries, which rely on scarce resources often subject to geopolitical control, Cattle has turned to sodium, an element found everywhere from land to oceans and even in the salt shaker in your kitchen. This means sodium is virtually unlimited, freeing us from dependence on mineral reserves concentrated in just a few countries. But the real strength of sodium ion technology isn't only its abundance. Let's break down each advantage to see why. The first thing that makes sodium ion batteries such a hot topic is cost. At just 19 per kilowatt hour, Naxtra is already about 65% cheaper than LFP batteries, which usually cost around 55 per kilowatt hour when purchased in bulk. Cattle has even set a goal of bringing that figure down to 10 per kilowatt hour in the coming years. But even at that level, it's still not a 90% drop. Going from 55 to 19 isn't a 90% reduction. It's about 65%. 10 per kilowatt hour may be achievable in the future, and we believe it's possible. If that happens, it would be an industry-disrupting figure just as analyst Tony S.A. predicted, a price point that would redefine the entire energy industry. To put it into perspective, a Tesla Moon Do 3 with a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack currently carries about 3,300 in battery costs. If Elon Musk switched to Cattle's Naxtra battery, that cost would fall to roughly 1, 140, a savings of more than 2, 0 for every car sold. Tesla wouldn't just boost profits, but could also cut prices to compete directly with gasoline cars. And once EVs become cheaper than internal combustion vehicles, the market will enter a new era of true mass adoption. Maybe you don't know, but BYD, LG Chem, and all the other major battery manufacturers are in trouble because the batteries they produce more than anyone else have become outdated and far too expensive, especially when it comes to durability. And the 19 per kilowatt cost is only half the story. Lifespan is what really drew us to this battery. And it's also what makes Naxtra's technology so formidable. Naxtra can withstand up to 10 zero charge cycles while still retaining 85% of its capacity. That's equivalent to about 3.6 million miles or 5.8 million km. This figure goes far beyond any realistic demand for an electric car. In theory, historically, sodium ion battery technology has faced many major challenges. That's why many experts once claimed it would never succeed. 
Energy density used to be a huge weakness of sodium ion batteries. The reason is that sodium ions are larger than lithium ions. This means more space is required to accommodate sodium ions when the battery is operating. As a result, the cells in a sodium ion battery need to be larger or have more internal space to hold the necessary ions, leading to a lower energy density. On the other hand, sodium is heavier than lithium. This means a sodium ion battery will weigh more than a lithium ion battery of the same capacity. This makes the gravimetric energy density of sodium ion batteries lower than that of lithium ion batteries. That's why sodium batteries have required many years of research by millions of scientists worldwide, all just to find ways to increase their energy density. But the gap with lithium has been closing rapidly. Just 18 months ago, sodium ion cells only reached 100 to 120 watt hours per kg. Yet today, Naxtra has achieved 175 watt hours per kilogram. In fact, this is the highest energy density ever recorded for a mass produced sodium ion battery in history. Its density is now comparable to LFP batteries, which are widely used today, including BYD's blade battery that Tesla installs in its Model Y in Europe. However, that refers to the older generation of blade batteries. A new version with higher energy density is already in development. Cattle's upgrade of sodium ion batteries from 120 watt hours per kilogram to 175 watt hours per kilogram in less than two years opens up the prospect that in the coming years, Naxtra batteries could fully catch up with or even surpass the most advanced LFP batteries. According to Cattle, the tested Naxtra prototypes are expected to give electric vehicles a driving range of 310 miles on a single charge. Of course, we have to acknowledge that Naxtra's 175 watt hours per kilogram energy density is not groundbreaking. Compared to Tesla's 4,680 battery at 272 watt hours per kilogram, the gap is still quite significant. Cattle aims to bring sodium ion batteries up to 200 watt hours per kilogram. But given the current pace of development, it's clear that achieving the target will take more time. However, what truly makes Naxtra stand out is not its energy density, but its stable charging speed. With just 15 minutes of charging, this battery can provide a driving range of up to 310 miles. While it's not comparable to the time it takes to fill a gas tank, which EV skeptics often cite, it's undeniably a major milestone for the EV industry. From a scientific perspective, the key lies in the movement of sodium ions during charging and discharging. In Naxtra batteries, sodium ions shuttle between the anode and cathode through the electrolyte. Although they carry the same single positive charge as lithium ions, sodium ions have a larger radius, allowing them to move more easily in certain optimized electrolytes. In liquid electrolytes, sodium diffuses rapidly, accelerating ion transport and significantly shortening both charging and discharging times.